girl, if you have ever wondered how I actually use one of these eyelash curlers and you want to see some eyelash curling tips, then you are in the right place because in today's video, I am showing you a couple of different ways that you can curl your lashes and make them look full and voluptuous and big and beautiful. So stay tuned, it's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super pumped that you are here today. My name is Lauren and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't, both internally and externally. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday, every third Thursday, and every fourth Tuesday of the month. Well, this video today came by request from someone on Instagram and someone here on YouTube, and I want wanted to show you how to actually curl your lashes. It's not something that I would have ever thought about doing, but because I was asked, I was like, that's a great idea. So here we are. We're going to learn about curling your eyelashes today. And what I'm going to do is show you a couple different ways that actually work for me. One side is one way and one side is another way. So let's go ahead and jump into it now so you can see how to get big, full, voluptuous lashes with an eyelash curler and some mascara. Girl, you don't even need those fake lashes. Let's go. All right, so let's jump into how we're gonna actually curl our lashes today. And I've said this before in other videos, but don't mind my broken eyelash curler. It means a lot to me. It was something that I got as a gratis gift when I worked at Sephora. So I've yet to throw it away because it still works and it just means something to me. But we're gonna use it today because it works the same. But I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks on how to curl your lashes so that they stay curled all day with your um, mascara. And I'm using one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Um, I know I don't have like all my makeup on. I'm also doing a contour video today. So that's why you're seeing like partial partial makeup done today. So stay tuned because that's gonna be coming out at a later date this month, an updated contour routine. So that'll be filming next. But for now, let's get to the lashes. So the first thing that um, I wanted to tell you is that this came from requests by someone named Marion. She's here on YouTube um, and then also follows me on Instagram and was just mentioning that she would love to see a tutorial on how to do um, lash curling. And so I thought, to be honest with you guys, I never thought to make a video like that. I didn't know that that was something that everyone struggles with. And so if you have requests that you wanna see, please let me know, because sometimes these videos just don't even come to my head to do for you. So when I thought about, okay, well, I'm gonna show them the technique that I use, I kinda wanted to see if there were other techniques out there that I don't use, and I learned a couple of things. And one thing that I learned, and this is something all of you guys know, but I'm gonna show you this one today, using a hair dryer to curl your lashes, of course. I've never done this before. I'm gonna do this on camera with you for the first time. I do know it works. I've just never personally tried it. And then I'm gonna show you the way that I do it and a couple of tips that actually work pretty well. So let's start with the left eye and let's actually do, you know what, let's do my right eye. My right eye is my more hooded eye, so that's the eye that I'd like to look as lifted as possible. So let's try the, the hair dryer trick on my right eye. So what you wanna do is, first of all, clean your, <laughs> Clean your lash curler. I spent some time doing that before I decided to film this video. So I cleaned it. Make sure that there's no like gunk and buildup and residue. If you've ever curled your lashes after mascara, which I have done a few times, um, you know, like for makeup to wear or that you've been wearing all day, but you want it to last a little bit longer, I've done that. But it does gunk up your eyelash curler. So go ahead and make sure it's clean. So what we're gonna do is turn our blow dryer on and we're going to heat this up. And the idea here is that you heat it up, heat up the metal, and then you wait for it to cool off. Dear God, do not put it on your lashes or close to your skin when it's hot. And then we're gonna curl the lashes. So let's try it. So here we go, you ready? I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. metal seems pretty warm but it's not like super hot oh no my little rubber piece is coming out we don't want that I heard a horror story once of someone curling their lashes and their metal piece came out and then they cut their lashes off that can happen so don't do that so mine is actually falling out right now so let me fix it it's funny I may have to retire this stupid lash curler and I don't want to don't want to at all so yes make sure that is is actually in there real nice and good because that will certainly chop your lashes off okay that doesn't feel warm anymore so let me close it try again that is the odd button okay so that doesn't feel super warm at all 
So bring in my mirror in, and what I'm gonna do is go in, make sure I don't burn my skin. This is what makes me nervous about this. And then just curl up. You wanna hold for like 10 or 15 seconds, and then you can kind of like pounce your lash curler back and forth. Holy moly. And then they, they are curled. And then what you wanna do is put mascara on right away. Gosh, that looks awesome. I've never done that before, by the way. As I mentioned, a little nervous, but we're doing it. And then you wanna throw, throw like it's no big deal. Throw your mascara right on. Okay, so Marion, hopefully this works all day. If you've not tried this, give this a shot. And you'll have to let me know in the comments if you try it. So this is really cool. Now the other thing I could have done, which I probably should have done, was curl them a second time. Because typically when I do this on my own, like curl my lashes without a blow dryer, I will curl them twice, which you'll see here in just a second. So the only thing is that if your little rubber piece is kind of flimsy like mine is, since I have a janky <laughs> lash curler, um, it might want to come out. It's from the heat. So, okay. It's in there again. My goodness. I'm gonna have to go out and get a new lash curler today after filming this. <laughs> okay, so then the other way that you can curl your lashes is simply just to take your lash curler and make sure that you've got it on all the lashes. And you can see my left eye, the lashes come up really far. So I'm just gonna squeeze a couple times just to give them a little bit of an oomph lift. Take it off. That looks really good. That looks. It looks honestly as good as the side with the blow dryer, at least from my angle. You'll have to let me know what you see down in the comments. And then the second time that you do it, this is a trick that I learned as well here on YouTube. And again, my eyelash curler is a little janky. You're gonna do it again, but what you're gonna do is tilt inward. So you're kind of like lifting. It looks crazy, but you're gonna tilt inward just like that. And that really lifts them quite a bit. So if you watch Wayne Goss, he taught me that a long time ago. So that's how I curl mine. Honestly, I have no mascara on those lashes and they look amazing right now, just sitting. So let's go ahead and apply some mascara. So pretty, I mean, they're like straight up. So the main thing that you have to worry about here is obviously getting um, mascara on top of your actual lid just because they're sitting so high. You guys get to be the judge of which side looks better. I, from my angle, I feel like the left side does. Like you don't even need a hair dryer. Cause honestly, this for me, I would never do, which is why I've known about this trick for years, but I've never done it. Cause I'm like, I don't need any extra work when I'm trying to put makeup on, I just don't. So, but Wayne's trick that he taught me, ah crap, I just got mascara right on my lid from my own carelessness, not from the lashes. So again, trick, I say this all the time when it happens in my videos, let it dry and then it'll flick right off. <laughs> my hardest spot for me, Lash wise, which is probably for most people, is that inner corner and then sometimes that outer corner for the right eye because this right eye is a little bit more hooded. So just play with it and you'll learn, you'll learn your lashes. Let's do a little mascara on the bottom. All right, we're gonna call that good. Is it dry enough to flick off now? Let's see, yay, it is. Okay, so let me get in the camera. And if you can hear that, it is raining cats and dogs outside. So there's lots of thunder going on. Um, so for me, I think the left eye looks more full. Now, maybe if I would have curled the lashes a second time after doing the blow dryer, I might feel differently. But these look way higher, way separated, and they are super curled. The only thing I wish I would have done is got a little closer in the inner corner. But man, if you've ever pinched your skin with one of these things, it sucks. And then you become a little bit gun shy when you're trying to do this. So I hope this video helped you out. And I would love to know from you down in the comments what tricks you have in curling your lashes. And if you've tried one of these, let me know which one you think works better for you. And if you haven't had a chance to connect with me on social media, I would love for you to do that now. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't had a chance to do that yet. And I will, of course, see you in my next video. Hashtag Reform Tomboy Family. I'll see you soon.